This video will provide us with an introduction to Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle states, if stress is applied to a system at equilibrium, the system will react to relieve the stress. So if a stress is applied to a system, what that means is if we have a reaction and we somehow um, manipulate the parameters like the pressure or the temperature, then that will cause the reaction to shift or the equilibrium to change in such a way to relieve that stress. A fairly good example is um, two people on a seesaw. Um, depending on how these individuals move, that will cause this either to go up or down. Um, similarly, if we place a demand or a stress on a reaction, um, it will cause it to shift left or to shift right. Think about the classroom example. Um, when we have 20 kids in the classroom and five kids in the library. Now, how can we disrupt that equilibrium of 20 and five? Well, maybe we could call the librarian and ask if she would be willing to accept more than five students. If that was the case, we would now shift equilibrium. Instead of 20 and five, maybe the equilibrium would be slightly different and we'd have more students in the library. The following process was developed by Fritz Haber to produce ammonia on an industrial scale during the 1900s. There's this picture. Ammonia-based fertilizers produced using the Haber process are responsible for supporting a significant portion of humanity's food supply. In fact, Fritz Haber um, later won a Nobel Prize for his work on this reaction. So if one were to mix nitrogen and hydrogen under the right conditions, they would react to produce ammonia. And once again, this ammonia can be used uh, as a fertilizer. The change in enthalpy for this reaction is negative 92.4 kilojoules per mole. Do you remember what that means? Well, if the change in enthalpy is negative, that means that this reaction is exothermic. It means that heat is given off. Now here's two things we need to know. If the reaction is exothermic, we add heat as a product. If the reaction is endothermic, we add heat as a reactant. So we already established that this is an exothermic reaction. So we're going to have to add heat as a product. So just simply add heat to the right side of the equation. If it was endothermic, we would add heat to the left side of the equation. And this makes sense because in an exothermic reaction, heat is giving off. So the fact that heat is given off, it's almost as if heat is a product. So here's our reaction once again. And in the following videos, we're going to decide how each of these following stresses will shift equilibrium. We're going to look at changing the concentration of the reactants and products, changing the temperature of the reaction, and then also changing the pressure. And we're going to see how each of those stresses will shift equilibrium, either to the left or to the right.